Hey guys, the Filthy Pilgrim here. So, with the release of Legion and new artifact weapons, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about some of the best looking transmogs that you can use on these artifact weapons. So, today we're starting off with the two-handed axe. So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Number 10. Alright, so uh, starting things off here, we're going to be looking at the Justice Bringer. Uh, it's a really simple axe, but I really like the look of it. Um, it can also come in a green tint, and it drops off of the Trial of the Crusader 25 man from the Faction Champions. So yeah, really nice way to start this list off right here. Number 9. Alright, so next we're going to be looking at the Draconic Avenger. Uh, this one drops off of the Death Talon Whim Guards inside of Blackwing Lair. I really like the detail on this one. It's got the little dragons on top. Um, yeah, and a really nice pace to uh, take number 9 spot. Number 8. Alright, moving right along here. We have the Warmonger Gladiator Decapitator. Uh, this is sold in Ashran from General Evd uh, for 5 marks of honor or from Malaka Light Song and Warspear. And uh, I really like this one just because of its uh, particle effects and... I really like the color purple on it. It's just, it's a really good piece. Number seven. Next, we have a really, really nice axe. This one is called the Crescent of Living Magma. Uh, and you get this off of the Heart of the Living Mountain inside the Black Rock Foundry. And I really like this one. It's got a green color to it. And it's just got some really nice details. And if you're looking to transmog into something neat, I think this is right up your alley, guys. Number six. Okay, now we have Zalata Desecrated Image of Gorhal. And this is this is a really cool axe because it's like a corrupted version of Gorhal. And you're gonna get this one off of Grom Hellscream inside the Siege of Ogremar. And yeah, if you're lucky enough to get this one, it's really neat. It's got the it's got the eyeballs all over it, and I really like it. Number five. Okay, now for something a little bit different. Uh, this is the Axe of the Nexus Kings. And it drops off of Nexus Prince Shafar and the Mana Tombs. And this one's a little bit different than the rest of the list just because there's no crazy particle effects. It's just kind of neat. It's like, it's see-through. It's kind of glowing. And I really like it. And I think it can go well with a lot of uh, unique transmogs. Number four. All right, so this next one's really neat too. It's called the Dark Edge of Insanity. And it drops off of Cthulhu and the Temple of On Karaj. Uh, this one's really neat because it might be an older model, but it's still got the the blinking eye as well on this one. And I think it's just like a really cool pace rather than um, just kind of being like everybody else. Number three. All right, so uh, number three on the list here, we got the Drake Talon Cleaver, and this one actually drops off of uh, three bosses in the Black Wing Lair. Uh, they all share a loot table. Their names are Fire Maw, Abin Rock, and Flame Gar. And uh, yeah, I really like this piece just because it's really uh, classic and kind of barbaric looking. And it's just it's a really tough looking piece. Number two. Okay, so now we got Trent Bane. Uh, and this is a really colorful axe. I really like it just because of the purple and the yellow and the way it clashes. But uh, you get this from a little chest. That spawns after you beat uh, King Gordok inside of Dyrmal. And then you have to go and talk to uh, Cho Rush the Observer. And he'll help the, the, the crate spawn. And then you can loot uh, the axe from the crate. Number 1. Alright, last but not least is the Felsteel Reaper. So you're going to need a professional blacksmith to make this one for you. Uh, the reason I put it on this list is because it's got a really nice tint to it. It looks like the Grand Marshal version. And, you know, I just really enjoy it on a, tr a good transmog. So, this concludes my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'm hoping to bring some more of these transmogs out uh, throughout Legion. Just so we don't all get tired of the same stuff. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be coming back to you with more content.